All right, welcome back. We are here in the gates of Krita. I think this is the well, the first mission, or the I guess last mission, uh, before we get to Lion's Ark, which kind of marks the the prequel missions of of uh, prophecies. So it's a pretty big mission for us because it's gonna lead us to. Pretty sure, unless I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's gonna lead us to uh, Lion's Ark. Anyway, um, let's pick up our team. There are some players here, but they're all level 20. I'm not sure why a lot of level 20s are hanging out here. If anyone knows, they can comment. Maybe there's like a good farming spot here or something. I, I don't remember anything, any farming spot here. Uh, yeah, so if anyone knows that. So I'm taking the Necromancer, Mage, Fighters, and Healer, and then myself. Let's do it. Oh, uh, my... Oh, why is every... Oh, let... my whole thing is hidden. Hold on a second, my interface. There we go. Uh, let's see if I'm happy with my skills, actually. Um... Astro... Wastrel's Warry was pretty good. I haven't tried that one before. The one second recharge hex spell. Basically, you cast it on someone and hope that they do not successfully use a skill. But if you connect that with a interrupt, you can do some pretty big um, AoE damage. I'm going to try that this one. I'm going to be using... I really like Mind Rack. Um, I like empathy, but it takes a while to cast. What should I do? I think I like everything that I'm using right now. We did pick up this inspired hex, so I hope I get to use that well. Um, we'll just stick with this list. Anyway, let's go. The gates of Kryta. Make contact with the local authorities at Lion's Ark. Sounds easy. Yeah. Ah. Huh. Oh, I just now remembered the bone. Okay. I'm like trying to figure out stuff. This oink is a secret bonus you need to get him right at the beginning or else oh there is a farming spot if i go back here behind the house there's a there's a really famous um undead farming spot there whoa these uh undead just totally took out these guys oh i should have interrupted that phantom pain I'm so slow with my interrupts here. I gotta get better. I'm letting down my team. Okay. I don't think I need to worry about... He's only level 8, the pig. I don't think it can die, so I think we're good. It'd be nice to be, like, if you're a monk, it'd be nice to, like, you would really feel pretty strong in this area, because with all the undead, you can switch to smiting and do some insane amount of holy damage to these guys. Kind of wishing I had monk as secondary for this part. The Mesmer is still no shortage of damage. map up over here. Boom, look at that interrupt. AoE interrupt right there. So the um the rangers start every battle casting apply um poison. Definitely want to interrupt that. Even though they're looks like they're still getting it off. 
I guess even though you interrupt them, it still like recharges. Interrupting healing healing spell, that's a good move. Is he a boss? What is that? Oh, it's a warrior boss. Wow, right at the beginning. Pick these guys up. Alright. Pretty smooth so far. I don't think there's too many surprises in this mission. It's pretty straightforward. The bonus uh, is a little bit of a detour, I remember. But I don't think it's that difficult. As long as we... Like in like the rules of every uh, mission, you don't want to over-aggro. But our tried and true domination build has not let us down yet. You need to be careful here. Anytime you see mobs that are patrolling, you kind of need, like, it, especially for our level, we're using all henchmen. We need to take note of the pathing that they're using because we're not really going to be able to eliminate these mobs immediately. And if the battle goes on too long, we'll end up fighting everyone. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Uh, Pull. Let's pull this mob. Hopefully this pig doesn't... Uh... Okay, I thought he was gonna like... Pull the print. Oh, he is. He does a little bit of damage. Almost like... No damage, but... He's tanking a bit. I guess I was worried about nothing, because those guys... That patrol group is just long gone. Sometimes the missions kind of reward you for not rushing in though. Because like, if you just rush straight in, you would be fighting all of them. But we kind of avoided some battle there. Not that I wouldn't have minded the uh, XP. Get ready to uh, interrupt these rangers. I have frustration. I'm gonna use it. Always interrupt at the last second. Or try to anyway. It's like a two second casting time for them. Fragility, what's that? Target and the adjacent foes take 16 damage each time they suffer or recover from a nuke. Ooh, I can steal that from myself. Nice. Oh. A gold bow. Gold dead bow. Where'd it go? That's sweet. Uh, not great. But we can use it instead of our... Uh, we're using... We're using... Um, where's our bow? Oh, I still have it equipped. We can't... See. Uh, no, it's uh, the gold is for 60. I was like, I can use it, use it as like a pulling weapon, but not worth it. That gives me plus 10 health. So. I need to remember to use inspired hex to steal those hexes. I'm not sure if we do any. I know Tom and um, Stefan, they do some condition damage. Look at all this. Look at these numbers about to pop up. Gonna be sick. Boom. Just melted. Oh. Rest in peace. Fight. Night. I don't know about you, but my volume seems to be very high. I'm gonna turn it down a smidge. Okay. Um, do I still have oink? I need to bring him to someone. I think this McLean guy. Let's not talk to Torimo yet. My sound effects? Crazy loud. Background audio? Yeah, the background audio is so loud. You're from Ascalon. I didn't think anyone survived. You found Oink. You've made my son very happy. Maybe I can return the favor. 
All right. What do you need? Retrieve the Orient text and have it translated. Leave. Do I go this way? No. Um, then I guess I do need to talk to Farimo. Farimo. Is that like an Italian name? Lion's Ark is sealed by order of Hablion. Justic Justic Justiciar Hablion. He's gone to the south to deal with an invasion of the undead. Right, head south across the beach. Can I go this way? Not where I go. Oh, place is open over here. Way to go. And I think we need to go this way for a bonus detour. Oh, I did pick up some Krita keys. Perfect. There's a chest up here. We already got lucky finding a gold weapon off of a mob. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh, interrupt that. Oh, last second. Look at that. Uh, he's going to be so angry if he were a human player. Am I in that chest? Let's see. And we get a purple artifact. Acquired nine artifact. Oh, let's um let's remove a hex from myself. Target foe loses five energy whenever that foe attacks. That's a pretty good one. Put mind rack on that. That's a nice little combo. Required our energy nine. What's the max? What's the max energy on focuses? I can't. Is it ten energy or fifty? I can't remember. That plus eight energy is nice, but again, I'm still rocking this shield. Please give me a some replacement. Give me some reason to replace it. Uh, this little hidden path here is where we need to go. We need to be careful here because I think, I think some energy or <laughs> enemies pop up like out of nowhere, some ghosties. Lightning Drakes level 18. Okay, we need to be careful. Oh, I don't have Oink anymore. He can't tank for me. Interrupt that. Oh, how did he get that off? Keep a mind rack on him. He's out of energy, so he's got to attack now. And then he does some empathy damage. Or takes some empathy damage. Mesmer is just full of tricks. It's the right way to go. Huh? Oh, I remember now. So we get a text. After we pick up the text, then the undead guys start popping up. There it is. So usually whenever it says just plain chest, that's usually related to missions. Oh, giant fish in there. Um like quests or missions or stuff. If it's a chest that we need a key for, it'll say like Brighton chest or steel chest or whatever. Oh, okay. This I was like, what's taking it so long? Um, yeah, we start getting attacked immediately. Oh my god. What just did all that damage? 
Holy crap. Oh, I need to use some shatter enchantments on them. That'll help. These guys hurt so bad. I need to make sure to interrupt that chain lightning. <clears throat> I want to get a look at what that does, actually. Out of energy, because I have this text I'm holding. Let's heal up. He's using res or restore life. So heal up, get our mana up. We're going to have to take this like step by step. Okay. We ready? Go. Dang. Those go, those phantoms. I didn't, did you catch what level they were? They're like level 16 or something. We feel like we're really under level, but I mean, we, we did some side quests. I haven't been paying attention to the average enemy. 17, that's why. Okay, let's interrupt. Oh, I thought he was casting. I jumped the gun. Oh, don't kill Alicia. Don't die, Alicia. Ah. That's some nice burst damage. Mind rack plus uh, energy burn. Just huge burst damage. Interrupt that. Yeah, no one died that time. That's good. We do not want to be... We do not want to be out of mana or out of health for these fights. Drop this. Okay. Interrupt that thing. Okay, thank you. I mean, the other ones are still going to get it off like this one here. But as long as we can. Yeah, we lost our mage. Ooh, don't. Oh, I died too. Dang. I think I changed. Um, I changed targets a little too fast. Let's take this guy up first. Okay, very good, very good. And I interrupt for the kill. Oh, I don't know if we can keep dying like this. Oh, that's nice. That's for domination magic. Do I have? I have nine domination magic. That, that might be nice. I keep running out of energy a little bit. But I know for a fact if we didn't have the shield, we would have died to that burst damage several times. I'm going to have to use a clover here. Is that... Is that for the whole party or is it just... Oh, it's for the entire party. So we have to hope... We just have to assume that worked for our henchmen too. Alright, we almost finished the bonus. Let's can, can we get out of here without fighting another mob of ghosts? That would be great. Right. Absolutely need to make sure... Yeah, I think we're home free. That was uh, not an easy bonus. It's a relatively short bonus, but wow, I could have been bad. So we need to bring this to... Who do we need to bring this to? I guess we bring it back to the... Um... What's his name? McLean. Yeah, he's a historian, so I guess he could use this. Tell me about it. As I thought, this is an old Orion text. It's a passage from the memory memoirs of Thaddeus Lamount. All right, you want to tell us anything else about it? No. Nope? Okay. Bye. All right, let's continue on with the quest or the mission. We need to hit the beach now. Interrupt whatever's going on. Deep freeze, shatter. Oh, that burst is crazy. Let's inspire Hex here. Cast that 
Mind rack. I get two extra mind racks now that I just wasted on the same enemy. Oh me. Oh, I can cast it again now. Oh, he got the deep freeze off. Inspire Hex is pretty fun. It kind of uh, adds a little bit of a uh, little bit of chaos to my skill bar. Pun intended. How are we doing on experience? I don't think we're gonna hit a level up from this mission, unfortunately. It'd be nice to hit level 13, but not gonna happen. Right, how we doing? I think there's a cutscene or boss or something big coming up here. Interrupt. Fire hex on myself. Cast it right back on you, sucker. I don't know. This spot inspires shackles. It doesn't seem too great. Because I mean, casting. Well, I guess I guess it would actually be. It seems like it would be good to cast on a caster because they would not have energy. But actually, it might be good to combine with empathy and mind rack because on and and cast it on a on a warrior or something because they depend on auto attacks. A warrior would take extra damage every time they attack. Then they would lose energy every time they attack. When they drop to zero, they do they take this burst damage. That would be a nice combo. I might have to look into getting that spell. Fear of shackles. Ooh, another chest. Sorcerers. That doesn't look good. That's the mind rack. Energy burn. Interrupt that earthquake for sure. He's got a hex on him. Scourge healing. It's a monk hex. Every time target foe is healed, the healer takes 15 holy damage. So that's like an anti-monk spell. And we're fighting a monk boss. Perfect. Let's cast it on our... Oh, I cast it on the wrong guy, didn't I? Scourge healing. Nice. We're back in the, we're back in the green, or blue, or uh, morale boost. Flame artifact with the ten energy though. I guess thirteen energy is the max for an artifact, for an offhand. Not good, but it's worth some gold. I mean, it's not even really worth the price of the key, though. That's the thing. Um, this Hableon, I think... I think we're not going to talk to him because... If he dies, we lose the mission, I believe. Eh. I want to see the cutscene, though, actually. He's level 18, so I don't think he's going to die that easily. You've arrived in Krita at the wrong moment, friend. I don't have time for long speeches, but I'll make you this deal. Help me fight these undead, and I'll give you and your people passage into Lion's Arch. So, I did look up. That voice is Steve Bloom, or Blum. The famous uh, voice actor from Cowboy Bebop. Many Cowboy Bebop fans out there. He voiced Spike. I remember in a... Oh, he, I need to catch up. And not let him die. Why is he so far ahead? Ah, oh, that's annoying. Uh, but yeah, anyone watch Cowboy Bebop? I was suspecting that was the case in a previous episode. And I confirmed it afterwards. Eve Blum. Shout out to him. Huge supporter of our play. <laughs> no. If he knew about this playlist uh, or this uh, playthrough, that would be funny. But yeah, shout out to Steve Blum. Huge supporter of uh, my tiny Guild Wars, Guild Wars playthrough. 
I would be bought with such a great show though. All right, stay on topic. Stay on topic. We are protecting Justiciar Hableon. We are fighting the undead. Am I going the right way? This isn't the way to go. <laughs> I'm like looking at the map. Where do I go? Where do I go? Hableon is just running ahead. Uh, I'm having I'm having flashbacks to Nolani Academy when. Prince Rurik was just like basically suicide mission after suicide mission. He got a huge army though, and they're all level fifty they're all higher level than I am. He should be fine, right? They're all rangers and warriors. Actually what's interesting is Hableon's a warrior and the abbots and knights and stuff, they're not doesn't tell me their class. I wonder why we get to see Hableon's profession. They're not casting any spells. Can I? Oh, I can use Inspired Hex on the NPCs too. Ooh, Fragility. Let's, let's use that on some of our enemies. Ah, uh, so that's the shame of Inspired Hex, is the Hex that you steal is not affected by Inspiration. You actually have to have... That's not that great. You just have to make sure you steal uh, a skill that you have the um, attribute points put into. Hmm. Not super great. It is a really fast... Um, or sorry, really cheap and fast casting time though on it. Let's not get pincer attacked by these guys. Oh, well, I guess it's okay. What are they doing? Oh, they are going after those guys. Where's Havleon? Where is he? Why are they suddenly splitting up? Or up that? Yeah, they're like splitting up onto the sides. Let's try and keep everyone alive. Nope, they're dying over here. Do this. Interrupt that. Ah, okay. Keep an, we're just trying to keep everyone alive, so we're bouncing back and forth between these mobs. You burn. I keep forgetting my ether. If if they have mind rack on them, ether feast actually does damage to them. I keep forgetting that. All right. So did we? Li what's poisoning us? Is this water poisoning us? Okay. Yes, it is. Makes sense. It's filled with undead. It's like a 28. No, no. What was that movie with uh, Timothy Oliphant? With the zombies? Um, Brud. Where the zombie virus spreads from the water supply. What is that movie called? I'm going to have to put the name of it. In the, in, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna have to write the name here in the video. Disturbed or something. What's that called? And I love that movie too. What was it? Like the disturbed or? Oh, it's gonna bother me. The crazies, right? Yeah, good movie. Nice, we're able to. We haven't, we haven't aggroed the boss yet. What level is he? Oh, he's only level fifteen. We are fight. Oh, interrupt that! Interrupt that! No. We are fighting level eighteen uh, phantoms. That's like the hardest part. Oh, this guy's level eighteen now. Barbs. Barb sounds fun. Let's put that 
on this boss. Takes one more damage when hit by physical. That's that's not great. It's a great spell for um necromancers though. If you're a necromancer and you're in a party with lots of um lots of uh warriors or even rangers, right? If anything that does physical damage. We finished. We lost sound. Great. Huh. I lost sound suddenly. On behalf of the white man, okay. Your request for interest to the Lion's Ark has been granted. Unfortunately, we can't hear their voices because my... My sound stopped. We'll escort you to town. Personally, we'll make sure you receive proper reception. Thank you. Interesting, he's a warrior, but he uses a bow. Pretty cool. Lion's Ark. Nice. What's going on here? Man, it's, it's annoying my sound. Messed up. I found it. Thank Duena. We found it first. If the undead get this. Come on, the sooner we get the scepter into safekeeping of her. I do not remember this scene. Uh, we can guess that the uh, undead are going to get it, though. The ghouls in this look exactly like the ghouls from uh, Warcraft, Warcraft 3. The undead were under attack. This is a cool scene. I don't remember this. In the case of the Temple of Tolerance, take the scepter to Confessor Dory. I remember him. We'll hold back the undead for as long as we can. But just go. Yeah, <laughs> you guys will have to endure my voice acting. Nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very sweet. Okay, we are in Lion's Ark. Um, yeah, we get some. Uh, let me t let me try and fix this sound really quick. Back on. Huh. Um, there we go. Some glitch happens where you need to uncheck this or check this and it resets it. Yeah, so we just got some notification about if we wanted to, we could actually move. We could actually go to the other continents. We could go to um, Elona, which is the Nightfall. Or Cantha, which is the factions expansions. We're not going to do that. We're going to stay in prophecies. What's going on here? Yeah, we can take on some quests. But yeah, we're going to stay in prophecies for as long as we are able to progress. If for some reason we get stuck, we might make a detour into like... Um, Elona to pick up some heroes because those would help us a lot and even even in factions we can get a hero if we move over there so 
that would help um, tremendously in the missions because we would be able to equip them and change their skills and stuff. But for now, we are not. We're just going to play a true playthrough of prophecies. Okay, I'm going to pick these quests up. Let's take a let's get a little tour of Lion's Art because this is bringing back some cool memories. And there's there's more in there's more players here for sure. Look at all these. They're all like level 20, level 15. Yeah, they're all pretty high level players. No one around our level, but still. Pick up some quests too while we're here. What's this Zenshin guy? And what's this? Guy. All right. Thanks for the help. Thanks for nothing. Um, okay. So this is a mission that we would need. That if we pick up this mission, we can go to Elona, I believe. We're not picking that up. Um. Oh, is there an armor? I think there's armor crafters here. Sweet. We can make some new armor. We've been using the same armor since Ascalon, which has been pretty good, but I think we can upgrade it. Right now, our armor rating is 30. What can we get now? Oh, still 30. It's no upgrade. There's some new styles though. We The, the courtly attire. That's a pretty cool looking we're using stylish. So they added the performer and the courtly. Performer looks like the uh, first armor from uh, pre searing, actually. I guess there's not many other. Oh, yeah, here's another quest up here. And he, he trained some skills. Minlo's requests. He asked me to tell you to meet him out in Sprite of Province by waiting for you. Ah, uh, so this, okay, so this mission is if we want to go to Kantha. We're not going to pick that one up yet. Uh, what about, oh, I remember this mission, the Villainy of Galrath. Oh, this will be fun to do. It's not a mission, it's a quest, but it gives 4,000 experience, and it's very difficult. I think we're gonna accept it, but I don't think we I don't think we're ready for it, honestly. I think we'll come back when we're like level 15 or so. It, it requires you to travel pretty far for that. Nice. Alright, so we made it to Lion's Ark. And we got a few skills or a few quests, and I would like to hit level 13 before doing the next mission, so. We're going to end the video here. This is episode 13 of the of our playthrough. Hopefully you're enjoying it so far. I've been getting some comments. Uh, people have been saying they like to play through. I'm kind of playing through through like a beginner. I'm like role playing a, a beginner's playthrough. And honestly, it kind of feels like a beginner game because it's been so long since I played this. But anyway, if you, uh, if you like it, leave a comment, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you have any advice or things like that you would want me to try out some skills some builds you'd like me to try out feel free to let me know anyway have a good one catch y'all later